What's cracking? It's your boy Stall here, back it again with another video. It has finally happened, ladies, gents, and everybody else. Gen Z has managed to get offended by the thumbs up, and it is in the heaps of cancel culture. A symbol that all my life, through childhood, has been one of reassurance and positive approval as opposed to negative approval is in the midst of being Hoao Cancelo. And the reason why I read is that um, Gen Z finds it passive aggressive. And it's not only Gen Z, I think. I've seen, I think, some tweets of some older, I guess, celebrities or influencers, Twitter personalities just write that it's like, that it's a passive aggressive Thing. I do know that there was one argument using a thumbs up makes you seem or come off as old uh, I guess but I mean it's let's look at the argument there Twitter yes Twitter um, I saw this I stumbled upon this a few days ago it was like a whole trending feed on it and it was basically people writing that repeat tweets that it's passive-aggressive um, you know that when you're that when you're like okay cool and you, the thumbs up emoji it, it just comes off as sort of sarcastic and passive aggressive which i just i really you know i'm not egging you on your outlook for that all right you can you can look at it that way but you know it's not just gonna get canceled just because you're offended by a freaking thumbs up like it means well like it's a thing of positive you know positive reassurance and approval because humans can do a check mark for approve normally they just do a thumbs up like that approved it's all positive. Anything that might have a negative connotation to it that you can really argue that has a negative connotation to it will be Huawei well, canceled these days, man. Gen Z just, I don't know. I don't understand. But um, anyway, let's look at some of the tweets and uh, get into the midst of this chaos, shall we? So there was a tweet by Drift that says, the thumbs up emoji is so passive aggressive, I can't really explain it. I mean, that's all right valid you know you feel a certain way about an emoji or about like a, like a symbol you know and you can't really explain it because it's it's a way you feel about it, i guess maybe through nostalgia or something like that you make a tweet of that you get popularity on it you know this guy so far like right now i'm reading he's got 1528 likes on this uh, 36 quote tweets and 111 retweets by the way 1,528 used to be favorites. Random, really unrelated fact. On Drift, he's probably not trying to cancel it. He's probably just trying to write a really little tweet. And it's maybe the replies that did more the damage than anything. So the second reply I see is, no, it's not. You just grew up in a generation where doing a thumbs up IRL wasn't done. I guess, really. I grew up around th a thumbs up, like Steve Irwin's son. Sorry, I don't remember his name grew up around animals in the jungle. Acclimatized to it and it gives a sense of positivity. Don't mistake perceived passive aggressiveness for unfamiliarity. Yeah, you know, feel, fear of the unfamiliar could, could I guess do a lot, but I guess, I don't know, maybe maybe Drift was trying to write a relatable tweet. Maybe they don't, they're not that hostile towards the emoji. And I was gonna address the reply above that, but I can't believe that I overlooked that. It is the one and only Seth Green, Robot Chicken, the guy that voices, Chris Griffin and s some other characters on Family Guy. How you doing, my man? How you doing? He even did an argument over another character, I think voiced by Seth MacFarlane, about robot, about Mr. Robot, Robot Chicken. Anyway, yeah, Seth Green, how you doing? Um, and he wrote, seems that inference is personal from the recipient, assuming intent behind the response. But I also use buddy as a term of endearment and according to these responses, I may as well say fuck you. That's his kind of humor, you know? Other people write fuck you and you would write something like that, I guess, you know? Kind of Big Bang Theory-ish. Denzel, uh, yeah, you can't explain it because it's simply not true. That's Convenient way of putting it. What what I can explain to you is that it's only about your self-esteem issues and or and and or insecurity. Deal with that. Not trivial stuff like this. I'm sorry, my voice seems a bit tired. That's why like I sound kind of weird and I don't know how to explain, but like I sound kind of weird and a little tired in this video. Um, but yeah, you know I'm just rolling on with it. 
Um, this one kind of reinforces the, the, the tweet author. It's like when someone replies, sure. Like, yeah, sure, sure, yeah. You know, you use that, like, for sure. Yeah, you know, I do get that aura. But if you're dealing with an idiot and you don't want to get into, like, you don't have time or you just don't have the energy or just whatever, you just don't want to get into a whole thing with them, I'm just like, sure, you know? And then they take offense to that. Don't, just don't be an idiot. That's the solution to not getting offended. Just don't be an idiot. No, it's not. That is, that is the written equivalent to up top. No, it's not. It's a positive symbol. Always has been. I'm 46. Ne I'm, I'm 46. Never in my life has it been negative. Space question mark, question mark, question mark. I use thumbs up all the time. Means positive vibes. Oof. World's gone mad. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I use thumbs up. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, definitely. You know, like just just imagine explaining like right now. Like I'm 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 I think Gen Y, and I'm just saying why to this to all the stuff that's been cast like like why. If you're an older generation than mine and you're you're not caught up with what's been canceled, you're gonna freak out that uh, that like the thumbs up is like all of a sudden in the heaps in the midst of cancel culture. I can't imagine what, how they feel. Really, they must feel like what? Like did I read that? Did I read that correctly? Unfortunately, we did. And then Barstool Sports tweets: hostile, aggressive, hurtful. Gen Z says they feel attacked by the thumbs up. A sports, a sports media group is covering, is covering this. That is how mad and how much of a sleeper it's been. Because I don't think, I don't know if so many people are talking about, oh, thumbs up is, uh, have you heard by the way, thumbs up is being canceled. Barstool Sports is even covering that. And their tweet is basically to bring out the news, like a news article, um, you know, very neutral. Um, they're not trying to argue their point that the thumbs up is valid or they're not trying to say oh and anybody feel like like that like the thumbs up is is, is 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 passive and or even worse shouldn't it thumbs up should be canceled like by 24 i served in france during world war ii have a wife and two children and a house greatest generation the thumbs up emoji is violence and i'm still on my parents cell phone plan <sighs> ah, pain ah. It's just reading that is painful. All right, the expectations somehow are different. Um, at you know, like at twenty, for example, at twenty four, than the previous generation's twenty four or a few generations prior is twenty four. But still, this is just painful to read. And like with the first one, like I didn't see the 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 the, the, the last part, but like the first half, like the like the first part. I saw, like, I knew, I knew what to expect. And then the thumbs up is violence and I'm still on my parents' cell phone plan. Like, it's just, oh, I, I, feel, I just feel so bad. It's like, it's like, it's sad cringe. It really is. Man can't give the finger and now peeps are melting down the th about the thumbs up. Running out of fingers to, yes, exactly. You know, pinky, pinky swear, you know. I can honestly see that being canceled before the thumbs up actually, even though it's still really ridiculous, but like pinky swear. Oh, but most people don't keep promises, so like we should cancel that. I mean, like it makes sense, but I might, might have missed the board on that one. Maybe pinky swears are, maybe that's why I haven't been pinky swearing. People haven't been like pinky swear. I haven't offered me pinky swears because it's canceled. Running out of finger, you know, if, if the middle finger's canceled, then I would think that the pinky swear would come next, even though that's ridiculous. Even it's it's even ridiculous to cancel the middle middle finger. It's basically the, the equivalent to canceling swear words, and we've tried that. We, you know, there's places where there's like, oh, you know, you can't swear, you can't swear, you can't swear. And I guess you should respect that too. You know, you can't you can't swear on your children. Like that is not like something that like oh they 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 canceled swearing your your children. That's that's just that's just immoral. It's just seen as immoral swearing your swearing your children, right? And giving the middle finger to children obviously is, 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 is a no-no. But again, I don't think the middle finger's been officially canceled. And then the next finger to get canceled, who would have thought? Thumbs up. So anyway, uh, one more tweet and that's it. Um, the worst part of media today is taking a tweet or a Reddit post and calling it news. Yeah, because 
It's not journalists. It's just people with outrageous opinions like that one. You know, I guess we should respect other people's opinions, but saying that a thumbs up is passive. You know what? I respect that, but if you want to cancel, then that's yeah, that's where it draws that's where like it draws the line. Um and then this 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 funny gif of this guy saying GTFO with, with an exclamation mark. Anyway, um yeah, just in conclusion, um I think I already said my conclusion actually, pretty much. Thumbs up, you know, what a thought. Actually, I'm gonna go back to my point now, the point I made before uh, for my conclusion, um, that you should you should focus more on people, you know, not swearing near children first. And before you're like, oh, we've covered that. Well, people will still do it. Someone giving you a thumbs up and being offended by that is nothing like being offended by an inconsiderate person swearing near your children. It's, you know, like that you should be, you, sh you should actually take offense to. That one is, is more reasonable. If you have the opinion that the thumbs up should be canceled, I give you a thumbs down. How's that? Is that better? Or is that worse? Maybe I guess it's better because it's not sarcastic. It's direct and like, you got that out of the way. Like, all right, disapproved, that's it. Um, and, but you know, if you think that the thumbs up is good or if you're just, you find it kind of passive, but you're all right with it. At least you don't want it to be canceled. So thumbs up to you. This was a kind of an emergency video, but a uh, video of the tailgate is coming soon. Just putting a lot of effort into it really. Um, and school started again. So there's that. Um, stay fucking hydrated. Um, my voice needs it now. <laughs> um, Uh, my past self is now going to thank you. Um, after I say peace out, I am out of here. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and please subscribe if you want more. And tap the bell to know whenever the next video is coming up. And while you're at it, check out these two beauties. You will not regret it. They're right there. Just click on them. Peace out. I am out of here.